When it comes to sit-down restaurants, there aren't many in Middle Georgia that have lasted as long in the same location, or in any location for that matter, than this well-known national chain's eatery has. It sits alongside an automobile dealership, directly behind a shuttered credit union in the parking lot of a long-demolished shopping center that was once anchored by a now-vanished Kmart. The Red Lobster at 2077 Riverside Drive in Macon was built in 1972. A seafood staple for going on half a century now, the somewhat tucked away Red Lobster, which is all but blocked from view by that closed credit union and the sprawling Riverside Ford beside it, is a testament to the power of popcorn shrimp. The restaurant didn't make much of a splash in the local newspaper when it opened in May of 1972 and began serving its broiled fisherman's platter, lobster, sea bass, shrimp, scallops, and deviled crab, which came with hush puppies, potatoes, and coleslaw, all for $3.75. Jane McAllister, who wrote restaurant reviews for the paper, in September 1978, captured Red Lobster's essence in the opening lines of her write-up titled, Red Lobster Brings Sea Inland. McAllister writes, What sultry Macon could really use is a sea breeze. Even more enjoyable would be the sea that usually goes with it. But restaurant fanciers such as myself would be willing to settle for one of those rundown shacks on the wharf. Unfortunately, Macon has not been on the coast for seven million years, but it has a substitute for the shack, Red Lobster. <laughs>